Well, for the first time since 2009, 231 weeks, the Jayhawks hit the floor, not being ranked in the top 25. They look to get back on course at the Fog tonight against 23rd ranked Oklahoma State. You know, the Cowboys clipped the Jayhawks wings in the first matchup, but David McCormick wasn't going to have that happen again. My man sent a Mr. Spalding away right there. When the junior forward wasn't doing it on the defensive end, he was just feasting in the post as he gets the rock right here and he'll get the hoop and the harm in the process. McCormick. Gets a double-double tonight as he leads the way with 23 points and 10 boards as KU gets the W, 78-66. to 66. As for the Wildcats, they're riding a 10-game losing streak after a 73-62 to 62 loss to now 7th-ranked Texas Tech over the weekend on the road. It doesn't get any easier as they welcome 13th-ranked Texas to Bramlage Coliseum on Tuesday. Now, in hopes of staying positive, head coach Bruce Weber continues to praise his young squad's energy on the court. I, again, they com our guys competed. I, they played with the heart. They played with their, they played with some focus, and um, you know I just wish we could have done it earlier. But it's better than later. Now we'll see if they can do that same thing on Tuesday. Well, K-State and Texas will tip off Tuesday night at 7 o'clock. Well, it's becoming a weekly occurrence. Wichita State sophomore guard Tyson Etienne is back on the American Athletic Conference honor roll. The conference's leading scorer put up a pair of 20-point performances in last week's Shockers wins over both Tulane and Temple, all while shooting 50% from the field. Etienne now has the most weekly conference awards since Wichita State joined the AAC, topping Landry Shamit's six back in the 2017-18 season. You know, we got to give it up for the Lady Shockers and give them some attention as well as Serafini Bastion would pick up her second honor roll selection of the season. The junior guard averaged a double-double in last week's slate against Tulane and Temple on 46% shooting. It'll be some time, though, before the women's team gets back on the court as Wednesday's matchup against UCF has been postponed due to COVID-19 complications within the UCF program. Well, a run to back-to-back -back Super Bowls, it's no easy task, right? But one the Chiefs were able to complete. And while the run back tour didn't end with another Lombardi trophy, it does serve as a learning experience for KC moving forward. Head coach Andy Reid spoke today about the lessons his squad can take away from that 31-9 loss to the Bucks in Super Bowl 55. We've made too many, too many mistakes, whether it was <clears throat> me calling the plays, uh, putting guys in the right position, or right down the line as you go. So um, you make that many mistakes against a good football team and they weren't making as many mistakes and uh, you're not gonna win at this level. So uh, you gotta, you know, you gotta come into these games, you gotta be sharp. Well, stay with us more after the break.